Hi, in today's video, I'm going to be talking about using Xmonad layout no borders to remove borders from full screen floating windows like video players. The no borders package has a option called smart borders, which, remove, which removes borders from a window under the following conditions. If there's only one screen and only one window, um, and the floating window covers the entire screen like a video player. And the problem with this is only works if you've got one screen. So if you've got multiple displays, um, it doesn't work. But, um, it doesn't work. So basically what we're going to do is um, use the option down here. Now hook less borders never to remove borders from full screen floating windows like video players when you've got multiple displays. So what I'll do is I'll come across here and um, open a video. Pause that. So what I've got set up at the moment is um, MPV player to open a certain size automatically in the center of the screen. And normally what I was having to do is um, put the video into tiling mode. So force it to tiling mode and get it to go full screen by hiding the struts as well. But that's not very convenient and you can't really toggle it back um, to its original size, um, small centered in the screen. So what I'll do now is show you how this works. If I just press F on the keyboard, let me put the struts back. Um, so I've got MPV focused here and if I press F on the keyboard which is the MPV shortcut for full screen the video goes full screen on a um, on a two monitor um, setup without any borders and I can press F again to toggle that back um, to this size so what I'm going to do is come across and show you how that's set up so first of all if we have a look at this um, package we need to import the Xmonad layout no borders package. And once we've done that, what we're going to be doing is using this option down here, layout hook less borders never. And that will then allow us to have full screen floating windows without any borders. So if I come across to my Emacs configuration, what I'm going to do is just take you down to the section where I'm importing the no borders um, library. Now, I'm importing this qualified um, and renaming it BO, and that's because the No Borders package has a option called Never, and that's also a name used by another package that I'm using, so I was getting a conflict, and it was stopping it working. So by default, what you would do is just import Xmonad Layout No Borders, but because I'm having an issue with um, a name conflicting with another package, I'm importing it qualified as BO. And what that means is normally when you're using a package, you could just like write no borders and specify no borders on layout. When you're importing it qualified, you have to prefix it with the name that you give it here. So I'd have to run BO dot no borders. I'll show you that now. If I come across to um, my layout, can see here um, this is my layout for all the um, different layouts I have and what I'm going to do is just pop down to the main section my xmonad config um, and show you where that's referenced from so in my main block down here I have layout hook and that equals my layout and this is the layouts that I've got you know full tiled um, <clears throat> that sort of thing so that's my Layout hook equals my layout. So I'll come back up to my layout. Basically, all we do is specify less borders, never, full sign, and then avoid struts. And then this is the list of all the layouts below. And I said, I'm just using this bo dot prefix because I'm put, imported it qualified because I was having a Dash of names. And down here again, this is the full layout where 
specifying no borders. And as I said before, and because I've imported it qualified, I'm using bo dot no borders. Whereas if you've just imported the library without it being qualified, you just write no borders and then <clears throat> in here full. And basically what that does is that means when we've got a full screen application, there's no borders. But if I put this into tiled mode here, you can see it's now got a border. If I put it back into full screen, it's got no border. Without specifying no borders and using the prefix if you've imported it qualified. And again, all we do is specify less borders, never dollar sign, avoid struts. If you see here in the sort of man page for this, um, <clears throat> you see they're specifying layout hook equals less borders, never, and the layout. And as I said, you can specify all that your layout hook and specify all of, <coughs> excuse me all of that there but it's easier to sort of separate out go my layout and then once you've done that back to my layout specify specify that separated by the dollar sign before avoid struts and the list of the layouts that we've got defined below like full tile grid a bsp and i say once we've done that and you restart xmonad um by default it's the sort of meta keying view and um basically <coughs> that means we get the um floating window which i'll just show you how we set that up um Go full screen, toggle back to a small size, and if I come across back to my Emacs, <coughs> um, and I'll show you how to do this in a previous video, I think. Um, and you can use direct float and um bit of code here which basically resizes the video so that it always pops up in the center of the screen so that basically is the default way it um, launches all videos it launches them like this so that I can then sort of you know drag them around like that um, and now I can just press F to go full screen and toggle back like that so that's how I'm doing the uh, sort of pop-up um, size for the videos. And then again, using the less borders option. Basically what, what I can do now is open up Emacs. a video from within Emacs need to give it a second and as you can see the struts are enabled here but I can go full screen over the struts so what it means is rather than having to press a key combination to toggle struts on and off and toggle a border on and off and just open the video at this size so it doesn't take up the whole screen and then use the MPV player shortcuts to go full screen toggle back without having to toggle struts on and off makes it really convenient so that's how you can set up no borders and again basically very simple to do you're probably going to want to do this import xmonad layout no borders whereas um if you're if you're having an issue with it conflicting with anything else import it qualified as for example bo and then again what you need to do is in your layout that less borders never dollar sign and rest of your code and again if you're importing it qualified you need to prefix the commands like no borders with bo dot 
or whatever you've qualified it as. And once you've done that, uh, restart Xmonad, and you'll have videos that you can toggle full screen without a border, without having to toggle struts on and off, without having to toggle the border on and off, um, without having to add loads of code to um, your Xmo, Xmonad configuration file. So that's something that's bothered me for ages that when you'd have the video full screen, you'd get this like blue border up here uh, and down the side. Um, again, this doesn't remove the border completely from all MPV player uh, windows, which is nice. It only removes borders when they go full screen. See the border back here returns when it's in focus. So that's basically how to fix that little problem that's been bugging me for quite a while using Xmonad. But it's the only thing that's been bugging me with Xmonad, how to get around that issue of having a um, window go full screen without a border. And again, you can come across to the No Borders page, um, the package, um, or the extension as they call it. Import the library. And basically this is the section you want down here. Less borders never. There's also another option here. Um, basically, I tried I tried doing it this way with only float, which is um, the full screen floating window, but it kept giving me an error message about uh, data scope, data not in scope or something. So that's why I used this option, which basically emulates smart borders for multiple monitors. And once you've got that set up, um, it does what it says on the tin and removes the borders from full screen floating windows like video players, MPV, uh, VLC, um, any other video player. So that's something that's been bugging me for ages. And um, it was basically the issue I was having was the never, never option here was conflicting with another library that I was using. And so that's why I had to import the um, no borders package as a um, qualified package and give it another name, which means you've got to give it a little prefix as I've shown before. Hopefully that's going to um, help you out and um, resolve one thing that's always been bugging me um, about using multiple monitors with Xmonad um, is getting rid of that board around the windows when you go full screen. And that's all for now.